You know what? Fuck this game. Tully! You fucking asshole! <laughs> After so long! God damn it. And you start giving me this shit more often. You're a fucking asshole, Tully. Oh my god. Hey everybody, it's Goldsbro. Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we got the Rising Badge. And I also, really quick, before we do anything, would like to show that I gave Cinder Dragon Breath as I had promised. And really quick, because we I don't think we actually saw Dragon Breath at all. A 60 power Dragon type move, it doesn't tell you, but it also has a chance of paralysis. Unless they change that in Gen 3. Wanna go heal up? And we have to head back to New Bark Town. Now you guys think I might actually just fly back. However... However... I wish to go south. After we visit this house. Oh yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget moves. So yeah, if you need a Pokemon to forget something, like if you toss something cut by accident, you can have it forgotten right there. Now, if we come down here, Route 45, we keep going down this way, we'll be able to eventually... Ow. We'll be able to... Go down and fucking... God damn it, I'm just... This is... If you remember the route that we went on back in the second episode where we could get Fampy, or third episode, I forget which, uh, you keep going down this way, you'll end up in that route. But first off, right in here, we're in Dark Cave. However, we're in a different spot of it. Pretty much, uh, you can find a new Pokemon here, which is Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is a... is basically Gramble. At this... Oh my god! Okay, we'll start with... Really quick. Um, Teddy Ursa is Gramble, pretty much, except a bit stronger. Now, this is Skarmory. Skarmory is one of the most powerful physical walls in the entire game. And I want to catch one because it's actually one of my favorite Pokemon. I said I want to catch it. 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 There we go. Alright. Yeah, you can also find Donphan here as well, which are the evolution of Fampy. I need to start training up Kiva because Kiva wasn't doing very well against uh, Claire. These levels, though, are just crazy. Alright, now Kiva's all caught up. <laughs> um, alright. Dusty, you be awesome like you you always are. Crap, I need to take multiple trips down this route. Okay, we also have Gligar. Gligar is a fast ground flying type. So, he's kind of a weird Pokemon. And I still much prefer back in... I mean, I much prefer Gen 4 when he can evolve. However, he can't evolve in Heart Gold and Soul Silver because of what he requires. Oh, and here's Donphan. All of his wondrousness. Oh, cool. Got, I at least got something before I got my shit wrecked I'm trying to leave this place. I have to come back up so I can get the rest of the stuff and the rest of the trainers that are up here. But yeah, a portion of really good Pokemon in Gen 2 come up after you've pretty much gotten seven badges, which is kind of di ridiculous, but I mean, whatever. And right here... Crap, what was that? A nugget! I'm out of items. I mean, I have too many items. I'll be buying full heal, so I might as well get rid of all this stuff. Also, I never use Awakenings anyway, so... God damn it. I forgot to fucking toss some of this shit. Oh, really quick. I need to give PP up to... What was I going to give PP up to? Fuck. Oh yeah, Psychic, that's right. Right, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm set now. Now I can pick up this nugget. Any new Pokemon? Nope. Just a Graveler. Yeah, Dusty. Yeah, my team is pretty much coming together now. Sadly, um, Wumbo is going to be set aside because I need other po I mean, I need the, the other guys for right now, and I just need Suicune, and I just thought... Well, since I'm going to have a water type on me, I might as well just not bring my water type with me. I don't know. I'll probably switch him out. I'm going to probably switch him out for something else later anyways, so he can get some action before we get to the Pokemon League. 
Now show off Dragon Breath. Yeah, it's not all that impressive. Sadly, Cinder is pretty much going to be my weakest Pokemon, simply for his uh, his lack of uh, moves. Because he, sadly, if I waited till like level 50 something, Growlithe would have learned Flame Flamethrower, but I was not going to wait that long because, well, Growlithe itself is a pretty just. Oh, here's another entrance to the Dark Cave as well, by the way. Before I forget about that. Whoops! I didn't even mean to go this way. It's okay though. Yeah. If you got, if you got to dark, if you got strength earlier and decided to go back to Dark Cave, you can come out here. That's why the Pokemon's levels are weaker. Right here is an X speed. That's going to be money as well. And here we are back on the original Route 45. Let's go back to Blackthorn, heal up. Really quick, I'm going to bench, um... Dusty, I suppose. I feel bad because... Whatever. I feel bad, like, a lot. And I'm gonna pull out Wumbo because Wumbo needs some action. Because we will not be seeing him when uh, we're heading over to the Pokemon League for a long time. Uh, I wanna buy... Well, first off, I gotta sell all my shit. XP, money. Nugget, money. Calcium, money. I bet... I, I know that there are some people who are just like, why are you selling all your vitamins? You need those. And it's just like, no, I really don't, because I don't play, like, super competitively when I'm just playing casual Let's Play runs. Alright, let's go back down. Right here is an elixir, but also, if you go back down here, fight this guy. I'm just trying to show off every bit of the game that I can, and I'm doing my damnedest. And then I realized that I still have Mount Mortar to do. <sighs> Wonderful. Fan tucking fastic. Shit. I have to go. It's a really fucking oh, damn it, I fucked up again. This this is like really hard to traverse, because like. You never know what'll take you where. I bet you this whole episode is pretty much gonna be on this one fucking route. Onyx! I won't even get the chance to show you what Professor Elm called us about in the last episode. So never mind. I'm oh wow, okay, another guy. I surprisingly have missed a lot of people. With really, really weak Pokemon. Alright, here we are. We're back on Route 29! Remember Route 29? Way back at the beginning of the game. Well. Now we're back in New Bark Town. Because that's where they told us to go to the Pokemon League. First, we have, let's go see Professor Owl, because he called us about something. Hi, Chris. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. And we received the Master Ball. The Master Ball is pretty much mainly used for roamer, roamers. So, you can make much better use of it than I can. Alright. I'm basically going to use that when we run into Raikou, whenever that happens. And then we'll have all three of the legendary beasts... I talked to mom, but I have a journey to complete. Wumbo! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Basically, we keep going this way. And I love this music. You know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Poke Gear map and see. Yeah, if we look into our Poke Gear, we're in Kanto, and we're currently at Tojo Falls. Mm 
Does it look familiar? Does it, does it just seem familiar, guys? Like, two years ago, or however long it's been since I did Pokemon Yellow. Alright. Yeah! We're finally in Kanto. I don't think there are new Pokemon that show up yet. So I'll get to them when we find them. For a candy, I'm gonna save that for Dusty. Alright, so Tojo Falls, you were... You pretty much require Waterfall to get here, and I didn't want to give it to Wumbo. So that's why I brought Suicune with me. Though really quick, I am going to check and see if there's actually anything that Wumbo has that I would care about. Yeah, it's pretty much giving him... Pretty much if I gave him Waterfall, I'd have to get rid of a move that I would have wanted to give him, like Shadow Ball or something, which I wouldn't want to do. Alright, this chick, you got some cool shit on you, I think. Yeah, Bulbasaur. Venusaur. And, for the first time in a while, Wumbo! Actually, I take that back. You, were, Wumbo was pretty much our main asset, fighting Claire. Yeah. You come in here. Where are you off to with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trust you very much. It's nice to meet you see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. And we get TM37, which is Sandstorm. Happens to be Sandstorm. Let's move in, focus damage on both battlers. It's for advanced trainers only. Use it if you dare. Do I even have a rock, ground, or steel type at all? I don't. <laughs> It'd be pretty much worthless to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going... I See, if this is my Gen 1 team and I had freaking uh, Magoichi, then probably, yeah. But sadly, that's just not how things work in this world. You're pretty strong. Let me battle you. Cool trainer, Blake. But, you know what, I was going to make a, a Ruby reference, and then I realized that it would just be some joke about how you're supposed to be a girl and have cat ears, but I mean, whatever. Oh, Dodrio, you're cool. You're also dead, too. Alright, for Lillian, who barely got any action during the battle against Claire, however, did defeat, I mean, however, did defeat Price. So, yeah, got some action in for that. I just realized how much time, like, I have left. I forgot that I had Fury Cutter, and I barely used it the entire playthrough. I'm gonna go ahead and just start using it now, because we're getting just some Psychic types. Okay, guys, so, that'll be it for this episode. We pretty much got our Master Ball, pretty much cleared out everything left of Johto, except for Mount Mortar. So, I guess, next time... How about we go, I mean, how about we continue our journey through Kanto on our way to the Pokemon League? Alright, I'll see you guys then.